So welcome back to whatever it is we're calling this. The Riveting Clank is the best character ever. Yes. Fan cast. Commentary. Yeah. Uh, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And uh, just look at this. Like, this is too beautiful. It's really pretty. It's like a painting. It's really good. I one of the one of the big design rules in in Ratchet was always you have to have a good opening view. Yeah. It has to make you want to go to a place that you see in the opening view. Like I want to run through uh, through the mountains there. Like. It's so perfect. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about in the in the last level, that bridge that was just a flex. And you pointed out this log here in the foreground. Oh, on the right. It's just yeah. like, oh, yeah, let's just yeah, do it. Just because, yeah. yeah, why not? And the, the I'm trying to figure out how to describe this, uh, but the, the textures on the bark of the wood with the camera in this close is very impressive to me. It's very good. I mean, they've definitely... This was always the case, but even more so now. You can see the amount of time they put into composing these opening views has been... Uh, it's definitely next level, for sure. So, yeah, I thought uh, while I'm doing this, we could talk about uh, what we've liked so far in the playthrough. Look at those little bugs. Oh my gosh. Reminds me of your fireflies on Joba. Oh yeah, except much better. The fireflies in Jobo? No, these are. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were flexing. No, no, no. I would not dare. <laughs> yeah, so wow. I think this, yeah, this is one of the throwback levels, which uh, people are going to be mad at me about that I have very little remembrance of. But I think this is supposed to be one of the throwback uh, sort of levels that we've seen before, or at least an homage to the levels we've seen before. What is this? Is that rare titanium? It is. Yeah, it's Press rare. one. Ah. Those look like the moon crystals. That looked like the moon crystal thing, oh, which is why I was confused. From the desert mining. From the desert mining, yeah. At some point, uh, we should Google Sargasso so we're not, we don't come across as not knowing anything. Mm, I'm finding the way. <laughs> Am I going in circles? Why yeah. Why hide it? I think down, so behind you, down, just straight down this path. In a little archway. Yeah, so finally some rivet gameplay. Well, we've been waiting for, it seems like forever. To That's get only rivet. because I wow. It's only because I suck at this and I'm really slow. Yeah, so these all, like all these things remind me of level two from Ratchet and Clank two with the factory, the super factory that have all, like, all the dinosaurs. This this feels like that level to me. Oh right. Yeah. Because even you have the bugs like this this feels like level two. I think it was this level was it. I think that was it. Yeah. That's that's what that's where I'm feeling like these characters are seem to like even the pterodactyls and stuff like that. It seems to be coming from a lot from that level. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, that is because I'm right, a mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. <laughs> I love Mrs. Zircon so much. Oh, it looks like they have a bouncer type weapon coming up soon. Well, I really? cannot wait to sell you that oh. one. Oh, maybe. I mean, the icon seems to. The name of the icon makes me think bouncer, but what does this do? Uh, can I preview it? Yes, I can. I love these previews. Oh. Oh, so this is the mini turret. I guess instead of damage, though, it freezes them. It freezes them. I bet you upgrading it can have it do damage. Oh, that's cool. I do want that. Too bad you can't have it. Yeah, not enough bolts. Me too. That's so cute. Yeah, those are totally from Uzla. Those are totally the, like the. This is totally from that level. I think this this planet Sargasso has been in the right at least one game as Sargasso. But yeah, it, it really does feel like that. Ooh. Get out! If we're if we're riding on the backs of dinosaurs, then for sure. But well, we're definitely going to be riding on the backs of dinosaurs. You think so? One, yeah, I played Sargasso. I don't remember what game it was in, but I definitely remember these dinosaurs. It's, uh, they're like dinosaurs that have scales on their back that are like flat rocks. Uh -huh. and, they, and they look like brontosauruses, and their heads move around. 
Oh, I wanted to blow up the fodder. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's death liquid. I got lost. Did I come from up this You did not come platform? from this way. I should just be using the map more than I am. Yeah, this looks like the where you Cool. And also R3 also brings up the objectives. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Okay, so it's down there. the way the bomb feels, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not very good at using it yet. Uh, let's see. Mr. Fungi. Uh, I I only get three, so it's I, I don't use it a lot mm -hmm. right now, but uh, I'm hoping that'll change. Uh, the Burst Pistol, I use a lot, because it's got a lot of ammo, mm -hmm. and it does, it does damage if you hit them in the right place. I don't really like the shotgun yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. Uh, it I'm, I'm sort of confused about the range on it. I love the Naked Truck Collider. But probably my favorite right now would be the bomb. Okay. But I can't really use it against the flying things, because if I miss, I lose the whole... Dispatch them quite capably. Where is that speedo going? Did you see the, the boxes were covered in moss? I did. Wow. I mean, that's the shotguns out of five ever seen. Really? And there's a bunch of swarmers all together. Yeah, good point. And the last speedo runs into that rip thingy. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. What is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the dimension. I love this. That's cool. How do you come up with this stuff? Okay, just playing with it. Uh, clearly wants me to go this way. Wow, it's all like blued out. Yeah, something yeah. something weird's going on right here. Hey, it's Maynard, the Mortz's helper bot. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. That's cool that the crates have different appearances. Hey, don't hide. Uh, Hitting its nest might get its attention. Hit it with the wrench. That's mean. Why does Plank encourage you to hit animal nests? See what I did wrong there. Instead of uh, being good at this game, I was bad. You were bad at it. Yeah. I see. What am I supposed to? Maybe Maynard can lead me to the woods. Oh. Oh, so that's that's cool. So we got a little racing game coming up right here. Going on right here. Yeah. I like the way she's hanging off of it. We could get away from this crap. Come on, Maynard! Let's find the morts! This is cool. It looks so good. It does look really nice. Oh! Big dinosaur. I feel like uh it's pretty much what our uh show is going to need to be called is oh man that looks so cool <laughs> at this point this seems to be <laughs> oh we got the thugs back yep nice oh goons they're the goons for us in this they rebranded so you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at one hang on there now See, 
They are looking for Ratchet. I am telling the truth. Whatever. Go ahead. Go. I'm gonna save my friends. Oh, that's a powerful gun. Hey, I know where you can find a bomb back. <laughs> Those are great explosions. This is amazing. Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. Oh, her wrench throws different. But her hammer. Yeah, you're right. The swarmers are the thing to be using the shotgun against. Yeah. Whoa. Get back here. I love these effects. So good. I just saw it. Yeah, it's great. Mort, oh, look at their fur. God, okay. Seriously, this whole this whole thing is just wow. Worried about you. The next thing we know, you're here saving our behind. Wait, where are the others? Well, oh, some of the morts are stuck inside of that mess there. Not a clue what it is. All I know is it keeps getting bigger. Oh, between that and our new neighbor up there, we are not doing too well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh, and to keep you all busy while I'm gone, got this at Xerxes. Mort can finally fix that ship she's been working on. Xerxes? Oh, those pirates didn't give you any trouble, did they? Eh, uh, only a little. You can give this to Mort yourself once you get her from that purple mess over there. And they're doing our faults. Just came out of that. The point. Hit them over and over. All right, let's see what this thing does. The Ringer City pulls a fire trigger to shoot it at your useless enemy. <laughs> See, and without the without the demo, I would not have known how that works. Okay, so that is a cool gun. Oh, and you got the lightning rod coming up. I'll come back soon for that one. <laughs> I hope this is like the um, the Ratchet Two gun, with, which shoots the plasma ball that like hits everything. I loved that gun. You all come right. back. Yeah, see, it's just like way more straightforward. Okay, those explode. Remember, like, I remember having uh, these kinds of things in your... Remember, like, every so often one of them would explode and shoot up into the sky? You made the yeah, those are, those, are, those are a bit different. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. Okay! Do not got it. May I take a look? I have some experience with dimensional anomalies. I he learned it from sure. his dad. Hmm. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, we got crank gameplay. Oh. Greetings. Welcome. <laughs> How did you get in here? Where exactly like a good is thug. um here? Oh, you don't know. Well. I don't either. It appears to be a space between dimensions. Could be nothing. Could be a cascading entropic fissure that will soon turn the entire universe into a formless soup. Time will tell. Oh. Oh dear. Well, I am Clank. Please allow me to help. Right, yes, Clank. I am the all-seeing cosmic prophet of interdimensional sector 2255 phase Omega. But you can call me Gary. Here we are, Clank. Former warbot, uh, teamed up with the Lombax. Became a hero. Who good for you? Ooh. Ooh, friend of my father. I see. Your father? 
You might just be the one I've been waiting for. Would you like to help me fix the dimensions? You know how to fix the dimensions. I would like to do that so much. Are there copies of me running around? They're your possibilities. The key to repairing this anomaly. Look no. first. Pick up that nearby sphere. He's got a slam. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta get the sphere. If I get by these guys. There's a little, uh, uh, little flinch in the controller sometimes. That's kind of disconcerting. This is a lift in a good way. It can reduce the gravity on any object it touches. It seems your possibilities are what keeps an anomaly from collapsing. They look like you because that's how you interpret dimensionality. But as you can see, they've lost their way. If you can guide them to the meta terminal ahead, you will begin to repair this anomaly. <laughs> Nope, that was... I think you gotta use your helicopter. You not have your helicopter. I don't have the helicopter. What am I missing? Oh, that, that, the possibilities are all going. Maybe if you run into it like they, like they are? Oh, oh, I see. Like they are. Those crates are oh. the path. Try them out. Now, <laughs> the <laughs> They're the boss. You'll be one step closer to fixing It's like lemmings too, a little bit. This is clever. I feel like things are slowly starting to make sense. Dimensionally speaking. Oh. A speed sphere! That'll get you moving. Hmm. I bet some extra speed could make quick work of that barrier. Do you live on Sargasso too, Gary? Savali, actually. I've been studying in the archives. It's the greatest repository of dimensional knowledge I've ever seen. Oh. Okay. So I'll put this down to make them jump. Now they're jumping into the... So I think you have to use the spheres in combo. So if you go get back the speed sphere... Yes. Oh cool, I can get it back. I didn't even think to do that. So put, maybe put this first. Oops. Okay, so let's put the that's the speed one. Oops, here. Yeah, okay, now they make it over there. So I can... That device may be able to redirect my possibilities. There that must be cool. a way to activate. Nice. I like it. By completing these puzzles, but I cannot explain what that was always the difficult thing with Clank was like we needed him to feel different, so it couldn't just be combat. Uh -huh. So it was always sort of like. Sorry, I don't want to miss any tutorial here. Okay, uh, the the difficult thing was always like how do you how do you do this Clank controlling stuff puzzle? In a way that isn't both too difficult to understand, mm -hmm. and and you can also like do more than one thing at a time with it, right? Like in Ratchet Two, we had the lifter bot that you only ever used once, right? Right. Uh, and this, like, it, it feels really portal-like, right? Uh -huh. Like it, like it's a whole system of puzzles that I could see 
making a whole bunch of levels based on. Right. Uh, which was always the thing that I struggled with when I was doing uh, Clink gameplay. Did they say what this one did? It, uh, so that's a lifter sphere. The red, the red one is lifter. The green one is sphere. Speed. Process, so I imagine you put the lifter sphere into that, and that probably stops it from pounding. Yeah. If I fix this anomaly, I see. Will that so they do something. The damage that has been done in this dimension. Oh no, anomalies are spreading too quickly to do that. I'm afraid a dimensional cataclysm is coming, and our only way to stop it is with that which caused it. The Dimensionator? Oops. Indeed, but if repairing anomalies is helping you learn about dimensionality, I think you'll soon be able to learn enough to save us all. And hopefully. I wonder if I will be able to solve all of this in the end. I was wondering whether they wanted me to like run in between there or whether it was a go back and get the everything that happened with the dimensionator. I am concerned. In times of great stress, which seems to be every day of my life, <laughs> I've always found it best to take things one step at a time. Focus on what's in front of me. So there's another sphere over there that looks like you have to grab before you complete the puzzle. Oh, where? To the right, right in front of you. Right up on the top of the pillar. Oh, wow, I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, and so you take the speed sphere and you go over to that one to break through the barriers. Oh, right, I forgot about the barriers. And then you probably need to go back and get the other lifter sphere so you can, yeah. Okay. Demand. Yeah, so now you should have everything, and I imagine you can finish off the. Uh, now you can actually finish off. Oh, you do have a helicopter blade. Oh. It said hold X to glide. Yeah, I did. Yeah. There's just no blade, but it doesn't glide. Okay. Just that a helicopter doesn't come off the way. Okay, so I use one to stop this one over here. That lets them through. I'm eventually going to stand on that thing. I'm pretty sure the green one needs to go. Here, and the red one goes there. And I go stand on the stuff. I'm, I'm catching on. Yeah, I like this kind of thing. Putting all the pieces in their proper place and then watching it all sort of uh, complete. I like these kind of puzzles. These ones are always very satisfying. This is, yeah, this is cool. I had to stand here to let them do it, and then I get to go do it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. I'm interested to see what other spheres they're going to start adding as the, uh, as the puzzles get more complicated. Yeah, but I can, I can look at that and I think, so like, okay, there's a lot they can do with, yeah. with, with that, which was, like I said, it was always a really challenging yeah. thing about making clink gameplay. Them. How did you do that? I am uncertain. Ribbit! Who the heck are you? Look who it is! <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe my luck today. My trip to Nefarious City went totally sideways. I wrecked my ship and I... Uh -huh. You go on and leave that one to old Mort. <laughs> well, assuming you brought that part I asked for, hmm? I'll have this old thing in ship shape. <laughs> Just gotta lower the bridge and then I'm to my hideout. What are we going to do there? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Not ominous at all. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of answer you want to hear. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Okay, now you can at least buy the topiary sprinkler. I, or I you can save sure. for the ricochet. Oh, yeah. You know what? When the when the arena comes in, then I'll I'll start like uh -huh. getting some bolts. I think for now though, I'm gonna get the topiary sprinkler. Do an upgrade. You earned it. 
Okay, so I really like the Negatron Collider so far. Uh, so, and, and now that you've told me what I'm supposed to do with the uh, shine <laughs> one, <laughs> that, that makes a big difference. I don't know why that... I don't know why it didn't occur to me. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, I mean, it's, been a, it's been a day or two. Oh, I definitely want those. Area of effect. Okay. Before you can upgrade that one. Duration seems like a good one. On this one. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's all I've got for now. They you, they use the half press a lot, uh, which is very interesting. The half press of oh, the trigger. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Yeah, that it, it's strafe. Yeah. I just think I think it's interesting, especially when you look to the old controllers. Trying to have a player ha simply half press a button is fairly difficult. Yeah. But these controllers seem to be fairly well suited for it. Yeah, since you can just. Uh, yeah. Uh, make it a harder click. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty great. Just looking. Okay, they want me to go that way. Next up, hide. Oh yeah, I bet they do. There's all the enemies. Oh, big dinosaur. It's gonna eat the goons. Oh nice. Oh the easy. I kind of don't want to ruin your uh, <laughs> monster's fun, but... Oh, hey, you gotta fight the big monster. <laughs> Can we be friends? Put a great monster? face on that thing. Whoa. Right, fine. Oh, he's, he's got nice. very expressive eyes. I love this guy. <laughs> Grunthor. All right, I like Grunthor. I'm a fan. I like the evasion move. You're Give, asking. Giving more Grunthor. Oh, you like the the side dodge over the jump? Yeah, yeah, it's good with my uh, Oh, I'd be surprised if that works on the big. Oh, it does oh, work on the it big. It totally guy. does. Yes. I know it's it's kind of crazy because like we could never we never could do that before, right? Like. Well, it was a balancing thing. I don't think it was a. It was a convenience thing, right? That you, but you don't want to use your big and most mobilizing weapons on bosses necessarily. But I'm glad it does. I mean, it always felt it always felt bad when you have a weapon yeah. that you really like and have an enemy that doesn't work on. This sort of approach to just like, oh no, everything works on everything. It means you have to do extra work on everything to get it to right. work with it. But it feels better as from a player. Agreed. Agreed. To have it all work. Take that, Grunthor. Aww. Aww, I'm sad now. We killed Grunthor. Thanks for looking out. I'll find a way over. Very satisfying clicks. Yeah. A lot of weight. Good thunk. And the effects coming from the controller are really... They work well with it. Yeah. You like, can't you can't let down the thunk factor. So what I was noticing is that the the so the the con, the speaker in the controller is going to be better at making high pitch sounds because it's small, mm -hmm. and then the ones you know on our headphones or on the screen are going to be better at making. And they split the sounds up really well so that it it feels like there's a a, a dimensionality between me and the screen where the sounds are happening because all the high stuffs over here mm -hmm. and all the low stuffs over there. It's very clever. I don't know if I can explain it better than that, but like just in terms of pitches, it's all that tick, 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 tick stuff comes out of the controller. This is where you just came from. Oh, but didn't I already hit the thing I was supposed to hit? Oh, did you? Yeah, okay, yeah. Probably. So the controls were over here. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm supposed to get over there. Yeah, oh. so yeah, you are supposed to stay up here. It's a good tip to... Uh, 
to actually use the, the use waypoints. This. Well, yeah, to, pr to press the uh, R trigger for getting the waypoints. What is this? It is locked, whatever it is. That is good UI right there. Oh, oh swing, swing shot? Yeah. Ooh, swing shots in combat. I like this. Yeah, yeah this is good. Look at all the bustables too. If they if swing shots are integrated good into combat, I mean that's all that I need. <laughs> that's a great that's a great way to make combat more interesting to have them be more integrated into the fights. Yeah. This is a cool little um like we didn't do a lot of these where we have just sort of a little uh arena for you to fight in, right? Because we couldn't uh do pathfinding around it. So it was always just sort of like you were on one side of the area, and ratchets or the enemies are on the other side. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, this is neat. You can make like a little jungle gym for them to play on, uh, and then use thing use traversal as a, a part of the combat. Very clever. I'm not sure what. I, oh, okay. Do they just do like a superhero ending when they came they down? Did. They do. <laughs> I love it. Okay. That was cool. That felt good. I don't know if it looked good, but it felt good. Oops. Okay. That explosion is so good. It's great. And is it just from this gun that they explode like that? I don't know. I mean, I haven't been paying attention too much, but... Oh, I, oh no, it's the guys with the jetpacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Gotta get those bolts. To buy weapons. Yeah, I mean you can't fall behind on weapons. That's when you're playing Ratchet and Clank wrong. <laughs> Falling behind on weapons. I mean Ribbit and Clank. Ribbit and Clank. Best character ever. I really like Ribbit. She's good. You know, it's only been half an hour or so, but I'm a fan. Let's see. No, the, the no? no. The the thing that was locked before is now unlocked. Where did, oh, there it is. Okay. Yay. Oh, hammer crank. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Oh, no. There has to be another way across. Is it one of those slug things I can ride on? Yeah, looks like it. Suggesting this, but what about the speedily? What about it? Let's go! Almost home! And there's another Grunthor in the way. I do regret this. Oh, Grunthor wasn't a proper name. Grunthor was okay, a species. Okay, so yeah, it's just an enemy. That was the wrong one. Just mirrors that seem like he's taking more. No, he's going. He's, ammo this time. No, he's going down pretty fast. Oh, 
Oh, nice. I'm getting raritanium for kills now. I know we've said it before how much we like stylized stuff, but that's like, not only is this good stylized, but you can tell that the people who are working on this had a lot of fun adding, injecting character into all the little characters. Like, that character is like, his eyes are so expressive, his death animation is very cool and very fun. Yeah. Like, this sounds like, this seems like the kind of stuff that's just very fun to work on because you can have kind of like a weird idea and just run with it. As opposed to being stuck in like realistic land where you're constantly getting pushed back if you're trying to push the envelope too It's much. definitely a lot, uh, it's a lot harder to, you know, have a an elevator with a thruster pad that's just a cylinder out right. in the middle of a grassland, right? Like you have to, for that kind of creative agenda, you, you can't necessarily get away with all, uh, all of the little creative touches. Yeah. Do I have to do this on the bug? I have to do this on the bug. It appears that these locks must be hit quickly. Yep. Works are funny like that. Time to find out the truth about you. What? I could talk with Ratchet. Home sweet home. Why are you so hesitant to trust me? I want to say that was skill. Especially when they're tearing my galaxy apart. I am not. I was trying to help Ratchet find the other Lombaxes. We'll see the truth soon enough. Once I scan you and the Infobot I found in Nefarious City. Oh, uh, maybe this isn't activated yet? Yeah, probably not. I just want to make sure that if I hit, I don't want to miss hitting something with the wrench and have it be awesome. <laughs> Breakables are cool. They are very cool. The Clink's uh, blades through the controller are very satisfying. Nice. Maybe make Clink a new arm? This is extremely unnecessary. As I have been saying, repeatedly. You're nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him, too. And that Lombax. I know it might sound crazy, but... You think he is your dimensional counterpart. Or something. <sighs> Look, whatever's going on here, we're gonna fix it. We? I thought robots are... Not your thing. Not all of them, just most. You know, like the Emperor, his stupid followers, pirates. Yeah, I see the irony too. Oh, I apologize. I did not mean to, um... You feel bad? Even though I just watched your brain diary thingy? Diary thingy. I love it. Oh, oh, this does not seem good. Who's, who's in the cockpit there? So now neither of them have clank. Huh. 
Oh, looks like you got some racing coming up. Yeah, do it. <laughs> this is cool. I'm really liking this. Yeah. Once again, our this is our tagline for the series. Great sense of speed. If I can get up there and hit it, I can bring the whole thing down. Oh yeah. You have to go off the ramps, it looks like. Oh, and they're, they're like, where are they? There was one, you just passed one. There's oh, another one over there. But I have to run into it. All R1 says to go off the ramps, and then you can probably. Hit the yeah. Oh, inside of it is a robot inside of a. Oh, that's funny. This is totally, this is totally Uzla. It's, but it was a bug in, in Ratchet and Clank 2, but now it's the robot. This is totally it. I'm, co I'm calling it. I'm confident with this, with this call. Good, uh, good homage in my mind. Dodge. Ooh. Upgrade to get ammo back? Apparently, yeah. Oh, I keep missing that attack. Oh, that, that was me. See, I told you this game was on too high of a difficulty. <laughs> at some point during this playthrough, I fully expect to go down at least one difficulty level. Ah. When you do your playthrough, you can do it on <laughs> Dark Souls. Oh, you got help on the right. Oh, the way. Oh, uh, right I now. did. Oof. All right. Where is it? Just for future reference. Oh, wait, on, on the right. I have to use the dodge in that way. Yeah, nice. You're figuring it out. Yeah. He can be taught. Cool, I get some more bombs. You see, I did this strategically. I saved all my weapon upgrades for the boss fight. Nice, yeah. Smart. Oh, okay, yeah, that was okay. I kind of want to see what it does. Oh, it works on bosses. Totally works. All right, uh, what do I want? Pixelize for that? Is it hitting them? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I don't know why I got such a kick out of that. This feels like the racetrack uh, on Joba on the ranch. Yes, it very much does. I can see that. Oh, thank you. They helped me out a lot right there. Oh, 
this is cool. I love that they're transitioning so seamlessly between like these cutscenes and like into the gameplay. Like, yeah. it just feels like so snappy that they like no no hidden loads or anything, just smooth transitions. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Man, that looks. That's a great looking effect on that guy. The grass. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, I can I can hit him with this while he's down. Great effects artists. Agreed. Oh shit. What are those blue things? I mean, they came from the box, so I imagine they're bad. These boss fights have been pretty cool. This is a solid one. Good scale, uh, great set piece. Yeah, no, I love I love the attacks too. Like it took me a little while to get used to it, but you know that was just needed to figure out. All right, you're running short. One more should be enough. This is unfortunate. She punched it in the face. <laughs> I love it. You came after me. Thank you. He's really got to fix that arm. And his legs. Unfinished business. Wow. Okay. Well, that seems like good good for an episode. Yeah, I think that was really good. Wow. Okay, so uh, for the wow, that was really cool uh, <laughs> podcast, uh, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.